Okay, that should be all ready to open shop again with four tables, limited ingredients, and a really good cat. He's very good at her job. His job. Its job. Actually, they think rescue is a three-star meal. So... Are you sure you're relying on it more often? It's cheap, it's efficient, it's free. Okay, first order. Just steak. I can do it, just steak. And for that guy upstairs, it was a mistake. He There's pet the cat. Everywhere. It's important to keep petting the cat. It's relaxing for both me and the cat. Jeez, using up a lot of ingredients today. But that's good. It means the business is doing well. I'm gonna turn the other guy into compost and then we should have plenty of compost. I'm positive, last clientele. No, so I no need to rush as quickly. Take our time, ensure there's no accidents. Don't want to unintentionally slip with the scissors, they're sharp. Especially when the floors aren't exactly clean. And make sure this is the best meal some of these guys are gonna ever have. The only meal some guys, these guys are gonna have for the rest of their lives anyway. I must wait for those to clear up time to do some gardening. Not a big fan of gardening in real life. I find gardens and cells can get kind of tedious to look after. I might just is obsessed with plants, so we've got tons of them in the bedroom. He even brought her a make your own bonsai tree for Christmas that she kind of hates me for. Good times. Ah, little kid. Good morning, Hildred. Hi, Peter. What are you holding? It's an old storybook. It's been taking it to the market itself for some money. I can't read anyway. Young man like you can't read, come here, give you that, I'll read you something, then you can sell it if you still want to. Aww. Ahem. <clears throat> Once upon a time, two brothers lived happily with their parents. However, they didn't have much more money, so the father decided to abandon the brothers in the wood. That's terrible. They were both frightened and starved being it, until eventually they came across a little house in the middle of the forest. Ah, Hansel and Gretel. So the astonishment, they found out their entire house was made of marzipan. So they started to eat the house ravenously. A marzipan house sounds delicious. All of a sudden, a witch came out of the house and she was really mad. She said, How dare you little, two little kids jump through my house in an instant? She captured and imprisoned the two children and decided that she was going to eat them. Please stop, Lady Hildred. The story is scaring me. I don't think I can keep reading anyway. Some water seems to have dropped on the last page and I can't make out the words. Oh, what a shame. Practice reading, learn how to write, and you'll be able to write your own ending to the story. What do you think? Yes, alright. Thanks, soldier. I always have fun with you. I'm going to the market anyway, so if they could offer me a good price for this book. Otherwise, I'll keep it. Bye, darling. Aww. Unintentionally seemed to have adopted a child. How was I? Catching rats. Kind of surprised my man hasn't come to... ask for his, um... Gourmet meal. Though I wouldn't be surprised instead of a man coming, there's some nice gentleman in uniform with some shiny, shiny bracelets coming to say hi. I genuinely think that's probably what's going to happen. Okay, great. I know there's an achievement of having all, like, all of that filled and all the mannequins filled. So, might see if I can upgrade the amount of mannequins. That's like the last thing I need to agree. And it's just food upgrades. Now if I open the shop, I get the achievement. Wonderful. Okay, so the rat, o the rat only seems to make like one meal. Table two, because of course people can't sit at tables at the right order. Table four as well. All right. And table three. Wait, which one's, which one's the three oven? Now I do. You need to make sure you're using up all your oven space efficiently. I make all the things out of the humans. Hey, I swear I stabbed you. Oh, I have clothes in my hands. I didn't stab him. I like this color. We'll rectify that for the next um, person to pop by. 
Because it seems to be the next one on the list that we desperately doing. Actually, that mince meat one. That kid best be handing out the gym. And by the bucket load. As fast as I can. Our last client's wonderful. Because I can assure you, I am not coordinated enough to have any many more court clients. I have enough corpses to feed the rest of the sissy though. Which always good when you have enough corpses to feed a city. Maybe soon I'll be making a feast for all. Mince everyone up whilst we wait for the day to change. Looks like they're leaving. Wonderful. Ooh. Eldred. Oh, Percival. You scared the hell out of me, honey. I thought I was, it was kind. Clients that come here that aren't alive. Yes, it's a good point. Why are you here? We are ready. Oh, finally. Did you have trouble with me wrong? She was quite arrogant. Who isn't in the city? We should had some fun. I mean, I may have gone too far this time. Yvonne told me someone will come looking for her. We are in danger now. That's not a problem. We can leave like the last time. Disappear and start all over. Nothing will stop as long as we're together. Yes, darling. Nothing. And no one can stop us. Now we need to prepare the banquet. If he doesn't come, he will come. I'm sure of it. But I don't know how this story will end. Let's take the reward and kill him. But why? But why does Mr. J want to come here? He's not stupid. He surely knows what we have to do. We have to try and kill him no matter what. But he, we can't kill him if he doesn't give us our reward. Who knows what it is? Do you think he's bringing up the people? I don't know. I can't see such a psychopath enjoying other people's company. But I'm not a psychopath myself, so I couldn't tell. And what if he's armed? A weapon? I'm not afraid. We'll take him out anyway. Stop thinking about these problems for once. I'm sure everything will be fine. Am I right? We'll get out of this together, as always. Now come on. We need to bring the corpses down here. Hate to think what the condition that the first guy is in. Really deserve a little trip after this. Ah, where would you like to go? Um, a far away from the city. Place you can relax a bit, just enjoy yourselves. We earn a lot of money here. We could go anywhere. By the sea. We could see the sharks of our neighbours. <laughs> Come here now. Help me with Elliot. How do we bring Gilbert in the kitchen? Piece by piece. I thought you had a better idea. While I'm cooking, you should prepare the table here. This is the best place to kill Mr. J. Yes. Smile, my love. By this time tomorrow, we won't work here anymore. We'll be in a better place. Ooh. Mr. J has finally arrived. He immediately made it clear that we would have our reward at the end of the meal. Tonight, I have outdone myself on the cooking front. The main dish is Gilbert, served rare with salt and pepper. Lady LaRoche is only skin and bones. I put her on the stove to avoid scorching the skin. Elliot has been here for a while. In fact, he smelt awful, but I still did a great job. I put his eyes in the pan with some sugar to caramelize them. Mm, such a scrumptious dessert. Mr. J seemed to enjoy his meal. He ate it as if he was starving. It was quite disgusting. The reward he offered us for our hard work? Just more bother. He requests that we become his personal chefs in return for his protection. Surely that would have made us untouchable, but also his slaves. We understood that he wasn't prepared to take no for an answer. We are no longer willing to play his games. The only thing that he will taste now are my scissors. Watch out! Cosp. Oh. Is that it? I know there must be a little more. There's extra achievements I haven't got. 
But if that's the end of the main game, that's the end of the main game. I'll thank you all for coming along and watching. I have hoped you enjoyed the game as much as I have. And I haven't ruined your appetites too much. Anyway, on this delightful note, unless there's anything else that appears after the credits, this will be a Missy signing off. Goodbye.